So what we're doing here is we're going to find the area if we wrap this volume around the y-axis. Well, this isn't the scale, but we do this. So to do that, so it's like if you filled all this in, and then, well, technically, you would see it like this. It would just be, it'd have a dip in it. All right, so to integrate this, we're going to use this using shells. So, you know, like an individual shell from here to here, flipped around, we're going to add all these up. So we're going to integrate this. It's going to be from zero. So we're starting at the origin here, x equals zero, and we're going to one, two pi x, and then the equation we're using is x squared and then dx. So when we integrate this, and actually when we integrate, before you integrate, we're going to have 2 pi from 0 to 1, and then we're going to have x cubed. And then dx integrated, so 2 pi, and then this becomes x to the fourth over 4 from 0 to 1. And we're going to get 2 pi, and it's going to be 1 over 4 minus 0 over 4. So we just get 1 4, so it ends up being equal to 2 pi over 4. And simplified down, the total area encompassed in what we have here is going to be pi over 2. Or approximately equal to, well actually I'll just go with that. Be like 1.7. Alright, that's it. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.